Hi, welcome to the APB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, organic naming reactions. Organic naming reactions. So now in the first lecture in organic naming reaction was on aldal condensation. Aldal condensation. So now the aldol condensation is nothing but which is alpha hydrogen containing carbonyl compounds will treated with a light diluted base will gives the aldol will gives the aldol let us go with a example now here here that means uh, the carbonyl compound carbonyl compound adjacent position is called alpha then after adjacent position is called beta etc now here the alpha hydrogen alpha ch bond is more acidic in nature so alpha ch bond is more acidic now however the more acidic carbonyl compound treated with more acidic hydrogen containing carbonyl compound uh, treated with a uh, diluted base yeah the diluted base uh, that is nothing but NaOH. Diluted means NaOH pellets are dissolved in water that is nothing but diluted base. Now whenever the base meaning is so the definition of base is abstraction of a proton abstraction of a proton from acidic position from acidic position. Now here the role of base it abstracts the proton at the alpha position not the CH position it is not acidic it is not acidic. So now here this proton will this base will abstract the proton from alpha position then it becomes uh, the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the carbon atom that means uh, two electrons it is a negative charge then it forms the negative CH2 minus C double bond OH. CH2 minus C double bond OH. Listen carefully. Now the role of base is it abstract the proton. So here negative, here positive. The negative charge abstract the proton from acidic pro acidic carbonyl compound. Then it becomes bonded to two electrons will shift it towards the carbon atom. Then it becomes a negative charge. So carbon negative is nothing but carbon ion. Carbon ion. That is the reactive intermediate in our reaction is carbon ion. So this carbon ion it acts as a nucleophile. Again, it is uh, reacted with. It is undergoing the nucleophilic addition reaction on another carbonyl carbon, another same carbon, another same atom or molecule. Now here, not the atom, it is molecule. Now here, the negative charge will attack over the electrophilic center. So here, the electrophilic center prediction is. So oxygen is more electronegativity atom, carbon is less electronegativity. So more, more electronegativity it carries the negative charge, less electronegativity it carries the positive charge. Whenever the nucleophile can attack over the center, that's, that center is called electrophilic center, electrophilic center. So this nucleophile attack over the carbonyl carbon, then bonded to electrons will shift it towards the oxygen atom, then it becomes a negative charge, then it becomes a negative charge, similar to the carbon atom. Now, once again, I'll repeat it. So, the, this nucleophile will attack over the electrophilic center, that is a carbonyl carbon, whenever the carbon valency is 4, that's why here, 1, 2, 3, 4, before the attacking of nucleophile, whenever nucleophile attack over the electrophilic center, then it becomes 5. So, that's my, that, that, that means a carbon cannot carry the 5 bars. That's why one of the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the more electronegativity atom. Then it becomes O minus. Then it becomes O minus. Now we will get a CH3. C. I'll write the hydrogen from bottom side. Now here O minus, which is connected to the CH2. C double bond OH. C double bond OH. It is the negative part. Negative part of O minus. Now we will take the diluted NaOH. That means the NaOH pellets can dissolve in the water molecule. That means our reaction proceeds through the water medium, through the aqueous medium. That's why here it having the water means H plus OH minus. Our O minus will abstract the proton. Then it becomes a CH3, COH. Now here CH, CH2, C double bond OH. This is called aldol. This is called aldol. So again, it is a nomenclature. This nomenclature of aldol like this. Now carbonyl compound adjacent position is alpha. Alpha adjacent position is beta. Beta adjacent position is gamma. Now here, the beta position having the hydroxy group. That's why it is also known as beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. Beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds. 
Now, beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds are named as aldols. Beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds are named as aldols. Now, here, so let us take the starting one. So, it is a carbonyl compound with, with having the one acidic proton. So, that acidic proton abstracted by the base, then it becomes a carbon ion. Carbon ion is our reactive intermediate, our reaction intermediates. Then, it be, then here, the carbon ion will attack the, will undergoing the nucleophilic addition with uh, another mole of carbonyl compound then it gives the oxy anion it gives the oxy anion this oxy anion will uh, will protonate with water molecule then it becomes uh, oh which is nothing but aldol which is nothing but aldol now the name the name of aldol condensation fulfilled until aldol only aldol only now here the condensation means the loss of small moieties the loss of small moieties the loss of small moieties like HCl, HBr, water, such type of reactions are called condensation reaction. Such type of reactions are called condensation reaction. However, here whenever we supply this some heat on the compound, then then it becomes CH3, CH double bond CH, C double bond OH. That means here alpha hydrogen this, this is the this these are the position regarding to the oh group uh, with respect to carbonyl compound now we, we have the water molecule here water containing group is alpha position then it is adjacent one is beta so now oh group uh, at alpha position and ch group proton from the beta position they both are eliminated as water molecule they both eliminated as water molecule under the heating condition under the heating condition then it forms the double bond then it forms the double bond that is nothing but aldol condensation aldol condensation then it forms the in all in all so all means aldehyde in means double bond in means a double bond the total reaction is called aldol condensation the total reaction is called aldol condensation whenever a carbonyl compound having the alpha uh, acidic proton or alpha hydrogen will treated with diluted NaOH will give the carbon ion that carbon ion undergoing the nucleophilic addition with uh, another electrophilic uh, carbonyl compound it gives the oxy anion oxy anion protonated from the water molecule it forms the aldol whenever the aldol furtherly heated then it becomes uh, uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so here alpha and beta position having the unsaturation which is also called as alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds carbonyl compounds so this is the overall reaction about uh, aldol condensation aldol condensation here we used the new terms base again acidic position as well as condensation so base means it abstracted the proton from acidic position now acidic position means it uh, the position which readily gives the proton then it is said to be acidic one now the condensation means it gives the so condensation means it gives the small moieties that means it lost the small moieties when the during the reaction such type of reactions are called condensation now we will get the carbon carbon ion as a reactive intermediate our reaction intermediate is carbon ion that is the very important one regarding to the our topic regarding to the our topic now however in case of aldol condensation the main purpose of aldol condensation is it forms the new cc bond note this point very clearly new cc bond so it used for the new carbon carbon bond formation new carbon carbon single bond formation now here the in the second step it forms the carbon carbon new bond carbon carbon new carbon carbon bonding okay this is the main purpose of aldol condensation nowadays every chemist can uh, easily every organic chemist not uh, other other uh, contributions uh, cannot uh, deal with all aldol reactions now every organic chemistry analyst can do with uh, aldol condensation it is the more common again this reaction also possible in acidic medium now however the this is uh, regarding to the je means neat up to M msc entrance they are given in the only basic medium that's why we will go with a uh, diluted basic medium diluted basic medium this is the aldol condensation now the simplest uh, representation of aldol condensation like this simplest representation of aldol condensation here CH3, C double bond OH, here it is 2 moles. Now we will get the 
we will treat it with a diluted NaOH. We will get the beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. Beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. We will treat it with a, will undergoing the heating or we supply the some heat. Now we will get a CH3, CH double bond CH, C double bond OH. Which is another, the name of, commercial name of the compound is crotonaldehyde. Commercial name of compound is crotonaldehyde. Now, the first step we will get all done. Then after we will get the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. That is nothing but crotonaldehyde. That is nothing but crotonaldehyde. So, this is the organic name of reactions. If it is possible, I will make the another video on the organic reactions. Now, thank you for watching.